Uh, is it audible? Uh, I mean, to all of you. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, those people who don't know me. Uh, so my name is Madan. Uh, yes, I did my CA uh, in 2007. I was in the industry <clears throat> from 2008 to till uh, 2018. Uh, I was working for companies like uh, Daisha Bank, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, etc. for about 10 years. I've also done my exit MBA from IIM Kolkata. <clears throat> Uh, the reason to start these classes and work, I mean, from last three years, uh, from 2018, uh, I'm into this uh, training and placements uh, related to fund accounting, uh, investment banking, etc. One of the main reasons we started this is uh, when I was in the industry, uh, I mean, when we want to train the uh, people who uh, we have hired, right? Uh, so if I had maybe two CAs and two MBAs and two graduates, for example, into my team, uh, will not be in a position to give the full time full length training right uh, so most of the times uh, to complete the work will give the training they'll also manage they'll not really understand what is this industry uh, what is this company what is the expectations of the management etc uh, so even i faced uh, many a times that issue uh, if if you don't understand complete uh, about let's say investment banking industry fund accounting industry who are the companies normally hired there who are their clients uh, you know where do they invest this is one side what is happening the second side uh, the up, up, i mean the changes that are coming in the industries right so new kind of products like let's say blockchain cryptocurrency many things right new things will be keep coming uh, we will not have that much time right so people are busy 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 in just completing the daily task uh, so we can't make a long-term and successful career, right, without having full knowledge about uh, that company, that industry. So that's where we felt uh, there should be a one-stop uh, kind of, you know, institution uh, who can give end-to-end uh, -end knowledge. So what we focus here is uh, one side, uh, what the company required, what are the skill sets you need, uh, you know, from a student uh, that we teach in the class for about, let's say, uh, different courses, investment banking and fund accounting, I'll talk about it. Roughly around, uh, maybe around almost 250, 300 hours, uh, we teach uh, around uh, three months, plus whatever skills you need, like Excel and all we teach. The other side uh, will be keep guiding you on, uh, you know, what is the industry requirements in the sense, uh, guidance in terms of what kind of role is suitable to you based on your skill set to what kind of company uh, is suitable to you and remaining things like salary negotiations and everything. And even if you join the industry, we'll be in touch with you for the long term in the sense, you know, uh, if there is any guidance required uh, in terms of how to tackle an issue, how to make sure you're growing in the industry or in your role for, you know, every year maybe uh, you're seeing the growth, right? So that way, uh, it's almost like uh, anything related to investment banking and fund accounting and related areas uh, from almost like, uh, you know, making you to learn those topics still making a successful career for the long term. So all the topics will be covered. Uh, that is the objective for which we started this uh, institution. Uh, and we'll be in touch with uh, the one side HR managers, one side, uh, you know, hiring managers uh, from the companies. The other side, students who ever joined the industry will keep take the feedback. How far our trainings are sufficient to them? Is there any new topics we have to cover so that you'll be a little more comfortable in the job? Uh, based on that requirement, we'll be conducting many optional classes also, for example, software is used in the industry, uh, how to prepare for the interviews uh, for specific companies like that. Many optional classes also we conduct in the weekends, uh, upcoming technologies like blockchain, cryptocurrencies, all these updates, right, which whatever is required to make it in this industry, we cover everything. So that way, it's not like anything part time, uh, like weekend classes or just uh, you know, working in some people do this, right? Working in the industry and just come and take some weekend classes or morning take the classes and then afternoon go to the office. It will not work. We can't give the quality work. Uh, and if you see the uh, normal uh, people from academic background who are in the teaching profession from last 10 years, 15 years, they may be good in teaching you uh, the way you can understand the technical topics, but there is no way they can understand the industry requirements, right? Uh, what exactly? I mean, it's different, right? If you're on the ground, if you're playing as a cricketer like a Virat Kohli, you can understand, right? Uh, what is happening in that ground. If you're sitting like an audience or a coach, you can only guess, okay, this is the mindset of the player. Uh, but actually what is happening, you can't understand. That's where we felt uh, people who are in the industry uh, has to take up these things. So that's why we started uh, as a full-time. Uh, now the full focus is uh, trying you and keep update the syllabus, uh, keep getting the good placements, keep giving the guidance uh, to make maybe best salary or best job 
all these things, right? So that way, end-to-end uh, -end solution kind of thing, right? Uh, that's what we're focusing. Uh, going into the uh, objective of this session, simple. Uh, one, we want to cover frequently asked questions. Uh, one, what kind of companies uh, recruit uh, in this space, uh, investment banking and fund accounting. Two, uh, what kind of salaries, what kind of roles they offer. Three, to match or to get into that KD, uh, what is the courses we offer and details about those courses, like, you know, what is the content we cover, what are the fees, what are the dates, upcoming batches and everything, right? Feel free, any questions you may have, uh, happy to answer. Uh, but largely, this is the objective of this session, right? I'm sure uh, there may be many people uh, who are in the industry. Anybody? I mean, who are already in the investment banking industry or fund accounting industry? Oh, I'm into investment banking, but not into fund accounting. I want to change my domain. Is it possible now? I have yeah, pretty much years of experience. Yeah, yeah, pretty much possible because the industry is growing in such a speed uh, that, you know, they are not getting, for example, let us say I'm setting up a fund accounting team now. Let's say I need more than 10 years experienced five people, five to 10 years experienced 20 people, then freshers if I need. I'm not getting those many resources. That industry is not uh, that matured in India. We can't find those many experienced resources. So they do take uh, people from other industry who are ready to jump, uh, rather come into this industry. As far as they have somewhere, you know, related skills, yeah, pretty much possible. Sir, but I tried into uh, uh, changing into many domains but uh, not exactly HRs are recruiting us. Like they are saying this domain is not matching with you. So what is the possibility that uh, we can change the domain? No, I got your point. See, that, that, that depends on two things, right? One is availability of resources. If I can already get a person who are exactly into the same role from last 10 years or five years, then okay. probably I'll not give weightage to you who are trying to change. But I think my point there is in this industry at least, uh, there are many situations where uh, we are not getting in the sense, you know, if I need a person with five years plus in the fund accounting or 10 years plus in the fund accounting, let's say if I need 20 people, I might maximum get five, six people. Remaining, I have to get from the other industry, but who has the skill set? I hope you got it. Got it, sir. Thank you. So this is the same situation in the investment banking industry somewhere in 2007, 2008, uh, when Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, etc., many companies, uh, when they are setting offices in India, they did the same thing. Uh, suddenly, they can't get uh, exactly relevant experienced people. At that time, I still remember when we were, uh, Dasha Bank is also new at that time. That's my first company in Mumbai. Uh, so when we uh, started there, uh, I can see many managers uh, to whom we were reporting. They are from manufacturing concerns. They are from normal service concerns. Uh, I mean, ser uh, service uh, companies like, let's say, Accenture or something else. Uh, so they were hiring because they don't have uh, those kind of people who are already in the investment banking industry at that time. Same thing now happening with fund accounting from last one or two years. It is continue. It, it, it is going to be the same. Uh, if some of you are following my uh, WhatsApp status, uh, you can pretty much see even yesterday, uh, one of the status I put, right? Uh, people from audit background, people from uh, other uh, accounting background, uh, they are able to switch. So it's pretty much allowed. Right. Yeah, to stay in touch, as I said, uh, any student, uh, if you're already in the industry or you're going to make the uh, career in this industry, two things obviously have to be in, uh, uh, aware of it, right? One is that uh, where the hiring is happening and uh, the trends in the industry, that's one. Second, skill set upgrade. Uh, in a sense, uh, knowing uh, what is happening, which funds are investing where, all, all technical topics also. For two things, uh, maybe you can just start follow. Uh, WhatsApp status of this number. Uh, we'll be keep posting those upcoming batches or <clears throat> many updates. Uh, uh, about the industry, there is a Telegram channel, uh, Fund Accounting. Uh, if somebody is already there, can you please share the, uh, uh, the Telegram channel link, please, Fund Accounting? You, you can continue to stay in touch with us uh, at that number. We'll be keep posting the updates uh, about uh, you know all uh, Fund Accounting related topics, uh, Fund Accounting Telegram group. So coming to the frequently asked questions and the objective of the uh, uh, this uh, session, as I said, uh, let's take one by one. Uh, assuming there are some people who are not much aware of the industry. Uh, when we say uh, investment banking related roles or fund accounting related roles, uh, what are the companies uh, that normally recruits? At least maybe four or five names uh, to get a sense. 
JP Morgan. Mm-hmm. Any other names? Sitko. Mm-hmm. Franklin so. Templeton. Apex. Give me one second. Franklin yeah. Templeton. Yeah, Franklin F K. Yeah. सिटीजन City Bank. The light. So, sir, the general. Right. There are so many companies. Very high level in India. Uh, how many people may be working in this industry in India itself? Very high level. I know you may not have the statistics. Very high level. Thousands, maybe hundreds, maybe more than that. Very rough guess. Thousands. Most of these companies, each company has at least thousands. I mean, they have. Uh, let's say Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, uh, whatever these companies' names. If you take roughly in India itself, they have at least five thousand to eight thousand. Uh, most of the companies, right, or even more than that. So that way, if you take at least forty companies, roughly. uh big companies then many many small companies can i say roughly at least in lakhs yes pretty much right so uh but how many institutions or how many specialized very few right uh, even uh, when you want to upgrade uh, your skill set uh, i i have also done my executive mba from iim kolkata uh when we take up those classes also when we meet uh, industry professionals those courses are meant for experienced people uh when we met there uh the people from manufacturing people from service people from technology many people are clubbed there uh to explain certain topics again not that industry focused right it is such a big industry ib industry uh, but there are very uh, less number of courses or less number of institutions which are focusing completely end to end solutions for that industry right that's where we felt uh, there is so much scope right most of us uh, learn some topics like maybe derivatives or maybe some corporate actions or something get into the role mostly main is that work somehow complete the work somehow wait for the increment etc there are a very less number of people who understand the full scope right uh, who are the competitors in this industry what are those companies what are the types of roles uh, to be successful what skill set i need to know very 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 little awareness uh just knowing something about equity market something about ipo market we feel we know about the industry but if you really spend some time there is so much depth that you know very few people has it uh, that's where our focus is as i said uh, it's not just about uh, uh taking you through uh, some definitions or important questions uh, that can be asked in the interview that's not our focus the focus is try to understand everything end to end uh then take the continuous guidance right which role is better etc that's where uh, the focus is so coming to the first part there are so many uh, companies you can continue to write but coming to the first part uh, that uh, what, what what are the uh, courses that we offer and what it covers uh for example fund accounting course it's uh, only uh, topics from the fund accounting what we cover is uh, uh private equity uh end to end topics in the sense how the fund is launched uh, you know uh, what is the structure of the fund uh, how do they calculate the incentive fee how do they calculate the management fee what are the journal entries they post how do they prepare the financial statements what are the reports they send to the investor it's almost like today i'm launching the fund let's say after 10 years i'm closing the fund whatever happens right where i get the money where i invest that money how i value those investments and all top players in that industry like blackstone kkr about those companies every term that you need to know about the industry will be covered in detail uh, same way uh, everything about hedge funds uh, same way everything about mutual funds apart from this to crack those interviews you also need something like derivatives knowledge and corporate actions knowledge so we these things we cover in summary 
and some sort of reconciliations. From this batch, we're also adding some regulatory reporting and uh, some audit related, uh, how to do the audit of these funds because so much is happening in that industry. A lot of new companies are coming up with new types of rules. So based on the requirements, uh, we are adding some more topics there. Uh, this is one side. Apart from this, if you are attending this class, automatically we cover the skill set, the kind of you know additional skills that you need. For example, Excel, uh, including VBA macros. These are additional. So this class itself, it's starting now on uh, uh, this week, uh, 25th November, Thursday onwards. Uh, that is uh, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. each day, three, three hours. Uh, roughly uh, one month it goes, almost like uh, roughly around 75 hours. Uh, core account, I mean, fund accounting topics. In addition to this, Excel will go for six weekends. So six into six, uh, almost 36 hours of Excel will go. We're also adding aptitude because uh, in whatever qualification you have, uh, most of the organizations are coming up with uh, test to test uh, maybe your you know kind of logical uh, reasoning and all those stuff. Uh, how far you are a person who can understand the real time requirement. So that way, that is roughly around 25 hours we're adding. Uh, apart from that, many optional classes because uh, particularly people from MBA background, people from graduation background, they're not great in the accounting topics. So we'll have optional classes. Uh, people from CA background, etc., can skip these kind of classes. For them also derivative entries and also still, uh, some of the classes are relevant, optional classes may. Uh, but for others, basic accounting, uh, this we cover at least one or two additional classes. Uh, then interview preparedness. Uh, these are normally meant for uh, people who recently cracked interviews or you know based on the feedback from the recent hiring managers. We will be keep giving the tips kind of thing. You know how you have to prepare. Uh, what are the topics you have to concentrate? Which companies are hiring to give you more insights on that. Uh, these things will be there. Uh, apart from the classes, of course, uh, many latest uh, technology perspective. Uh, something like blockchain, cryptocurrency, these kind of classes will be there. Apart from that, uh, let's say something like the software it's used in the industry. Uh, based on the requirements, many optional classes. People from the industry will come and take these classes uh, to give you practical understanding of you know what is happening, how to prepare for the uh, interviews. Or even you join already some companies, you get a lot of questions to get answers for that. We'll be keep inviting some people to take these classes. Apart from that, uh, we'll be having support uh, for the placements. Uh, that is like, there'll be a dedicated team or person uh, who'll be helping you for resume building. Uh, like, you know, uh, what are the points you should mention, how to give the weightage to the resume, uh, that kind of thing. Then we'll be having a team to take uh, mock interviews. Depends on your preparedness, maybe one level, two level, three levels, uh, whatever you require, uh, it will be keep added uh, of interviews to give you feedback on what are the areas you have to improve. Uh, then placement assistance will continue uh, in the sense, uh, keep referring you to the companies or keep uh, assisting you in uh, finding out which companies are hiring all those things, right? Everything is included in the fund accounting itself. Uh, roughly uh, one month, uh, for, uh, if it is a weekday, uh, there is also a weekend batch uh, that's planned for mainly people who are working in the industry. The starting first week of uh, December, 4th or 7th, it will come somewhere around 4th. That will go for uh, evening uh, 4 30 to 9 pm uh, each weekend, means Saturday, Sunday. Uh, that will continue for two months. Right, uh, that's about the fund accounting. Uh, the fees we kept is around uh, 24K. Uh, day by day, we are incre increasing the uh, you know syllabus perspective as well as support perspective. So that will be 24K for uh, this batch, right? Then coming to IB, uh, quickly I'll cover IB topics and then I'll take up some questions at this point uh, before I can continue with uh, other topics. Um, Uh, investment banking, here we cover almost remaining all topics that are relevant for the industry. That is starting on 29th uh, November, this, uh, this month itself. That's we planned for evening, 6 to 9 p.m. All classes available online plus offline. Uh, 
uh, people from offline, uh, they can attend from Bangalore. Otherwise, online from anywhere, you can uh, use uh, Zoom. Um, so syllabus will be a very high level uh, detail of debt markets, like, you know, fixed income securities, uh, like uh, what is yield, yield curve, uh, types of bonds, everything about the debt markets, uh, same way with security research. Primary markets like IPO and all, uh, what happens there? How do they do it? Second. Secondary markets, everything about what happens in the stock exchange, who are the intermediaries in the stock exchange, what is the trade life cycle, uh, what type of orders you place in the market, uh, all these things are all about the uh, securities available in the market, like almost all index, how do they calculate this, uh, BSC Sensex, Nifty 50, or, uh, you know, ADR, GDR, almost everything that, that, that can be, uh, that are available in the uh, market. Derivatives in detail we cover here, including strategies of derivatives, types of derivatives, OTC, listed derivatives, everything. Uh, this also to get an idea from the optional class perspective, we also have uh, online trading also. Uh, one or two times for each batch, uh, we do this to show you how the market works and you know what kind of uh, how to place the orders. Practically, basically, uh, how the uh, market works, how to make gain or loss, uh, to get that good understanding of it. Apart from that, again, corporate actions here also detailed. Uh, we cover uh, therein fund accounting its summary. Uh, so, corporate actions detail. Um, currency markets. Even mutual funds here, little more detail. Uh, assuming some pressures will be there, the added pressures and we have pressures and all. So, we spend more time here uh, on mutual funds also. Right. So, all these topics in detail. Uh, this will be normally two months roughly uh, so roughly two months even though it is uh, number of hours is more here uh, it will be around almost uh, per week if i take uh, 15 hours into eight weeks if i take or uh, maybe nine weeks roughly around 120 130 hours uh, exclusively for this but remaining you will be having access for uh, excel and all those things whatever batch you are in right this plus fund accounting both we kept for 35,000. Uh, so in a way, two months this course, one month that course, plus all these option classes, plus placement assistance all together, right? This is high level from the syllabus perspective. Any questions so far before I can take up uh, next section of uh, discussion? Related to what I said or otherwise also, any questions? Oh, uh, hello, sir, uh, ask for the side. Go ahead, uh, go ahead, Ashna. Uh, sir, can you please repeat uh, once again, like um, number of days it covers and uh, for both the courses? Number of, sorry, come again. Number of days. Oh, okay. Number of days, I said, uh, if, uh, investment banking is two months. So it's starting 29th November, roughly uh, 25th or 29th uh, January, two months from today. I mean to say starting day, right? And fund accounting, it will be at a different timing. So if you want to complete both within two months, that can be done, all right? Let's say evening one class, morning one class. If you plan it that way, uh, within two months, both will get over. Or weekdays, investment banking, weekends, fund accounting, if you plan that way, both can be done within two months, right? So roughly two months or one by one if you take three months. Is that clear? But uh, as for uh, like weekend classes or, uh, or uh, like uh, five days in a week? Okay. The investment banking and fund accounting five days in a week. Saturday, Sunday, you will have Excel classes or aptitude classes. Okay. So in a way, seven days you will have classes or you will have an option in a way, only five days concentrate on the class. Two days, if you don't want to have a class, you can skip. And uh, this Excel and uh, aptitude, etc. in the next batch also you can take up. So that way, uh, when to take fund accounting, when to take investment banking, when to take Excel and aptitude, one batch, anytime you can attend. So uh, based on your flexibility, moving from one batch to other batch or taking up one by one or taking all together at a time, all options are given. Any uh, combination you can take up, absolutely no issue. Uh, so I actually want to take uh, like both the classes. So uh, is there any option to uh, like attend uh, these classes in uh, weekend only? Uh, both classes in weekend we don't have because uh, investment banking, if I take uh, only weekend, then it will go for four months almost. Uh, that is too much time. Okay. Otherwise, within a day, we have to cover seven, eight hours. That is, again, too much. 
Uh, so that's where, uh, but for even for working professionals to keep it suitable, uh, we are keeping investment banking classes always morning before 9.30 or evening after 5.36. So that way, uh, depends on your shift timings also, anytime you can mix and match. Okay. Right? Even if required, maybe half classes I'll attend in this batch, half classes I'll attend in the next batches. Those things also options available. In the sense, for some people, shift mm -hmm. timings changes sometimes. I know most, when I was in the industry also, these are the hesitations. Yeah, Maybe uh, month ends may my work will be more, weekends, I mean, quarter ends may work is more, or my shift time is going to change. Uh, for any of these complications, uh, we'll have all this flexibility. We can move from one place to other place uh, to make sure you're attending at least, you know, what is important for you. Right. Hi, sir. Please. Yeah, my shift timings are around 12 p.m. to 9, 9.30 p.m. So yeah. can I go for morning batch in investment banking? You can. So uh, as of now, last batch was in the morning. The current batch we are starting evening uh, 6 to 9. Uh, so if this is not possible, next batch you can plan for investment banking. But in the meantime, you can complete the fund accounting, Excel, et cetera, classes. Okay, okay, sure. sure. Right. So yeah, that flexibility will be given. Uh, whenever next batch. So for example, if you're attending only fund accounting now and if you pay 24, and if you want to convert into investment banking later, you can only pay the balance fee and convert. Uh, so, so that way, anytime you can choose any combination. Hi, sir. Please, Rahul, go ahead. If we if we miss any class, recording is available. Yeah, occasional, obviously, it will be available. Uh, if it is regular basis, whatever reason you can't attend, uh, then we discourage uh, sharing uh, recording every day. For that, uh, we will allow you to the next batch. So. I think your main question is occasionally when I miss, is there a recording? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, sir. Uh, Abhishek Mr. speaking from Nagpur. Please, please go ahead. Yeah, actually, uh, currently, sir, actually, I am completing my graduation in BCom mm -hmm. in uh, 2019. <clears throat> 2019. Go ahead, please. Okay. So actually, uh, currently I am interested in if I am join a class in investment banking. Uh -huh. So then, uh, can I get any placement? From two thousand nineteen, what are you doing? Sorry, actually, current after then uh, I am working in a <clears throat> one institute as an accountant. Yeah, then pretty much possible. See, as I was saying, particularly fund accounting related roles. If yeah. you already have accounting experience in, in any company. Uh, they're more than happy to take uh, once you have accounting uh, knowledge good in accounts like the basic uh, entry posting etc plus if you learn these uh, topics like what is this funds where do they get the money and all uh, the industry knowledge uh, there are opportunities yeah yeah actually and uh, i have already already an industrial training and accountancy uh, certificate also completed. Done. done pretty much possible you're talking about only two years even there are people uh, five years plus ten years plus uh, also, uh, so pretty much possible, yes. Okay, okay, thank you so much, sir. Hello, you. hello, sir. Yes, please. Hello, I'm Arvind, sir. Sir, I have done my graduation in 2014, sir. So I've been working in digital uh, uh, digital markets. So okay. I want to I want to turn my jump into the career of investment bank. What's your basic qualification? BCom. BCom, you are into digital marketing uh, from almost seven years. Now you want to get into fund accounting, right? Yeah, six years I'm into <clears throat> digital marketing. Digital uh, marketing. Patients... Uh, I'm not sure what, what's your role there. If you have some accounting touch, possible. Uh, but if you are completely into uh, digital marketing, not that easy. Uh, unless uh, you want to learn the skills very much uh, detail, not easy. I mean, see, in, in cracking the interview, uh, they expect that clarity in the accounting knowledge as well as the uh, the areas that we are training, right? Uh, so for, uh, topics related to fund accounting, mutual fund, hedge funds and all, I'm sure you will learn easily. Uh, we'll teach from the basics. Uh, but then I don't think you are in touch with the basic accounting concepts, right? You, you may be out of touch. That's my guess. No, sir. I'm in touch with the uh, accounting field. Okay. Yeah, if you're in touch, accounting. maybe let us see how far uh, you, you are good with that. Then we can try. But otherwise, if you're completely into different area, don't have in touch, that's uh, difficult. Anyhow, you can send the resume. We'll have a look at it and confirm that. Yeah, sure. Any other questions? Hello, sir. I've already sent that uh, resume to Renewable. You, okay. you have checked it and uh, 
you send a voice message that if i work hard then i can get it yeah that's what so i could have said the same thing yeah so because the reason i'm saying is we do have some engineering students also or some people who are from completely from a different background this is the same thing we said a uh, little difficult com- considering your background but they are very determined uh, they spent extra time to you know brush up their basics uh then uh, you know they got some right guidance they put extra efforts basically then they were able to change so that's where i'm saying uh, probably your efforts are required more in that case anyhow we can take up that sure. yeah, go ahead please yeah. sir please go Hello, ahead sir yes sir so what is the duration of the course srinu i said uh, investment banking roughly 2 months uh, fund accounting yes, daily batch if you take roughly 1 month so within 3 months both will get over or if you attend both at a time within 2 months also both will get over okay okay months. thank you thank you hello sir please go ahead dikha uh, sir i am a qualified company secretary uh, from last 3 more than 3 years i am working in cs firm only so i don't have any knowledge about accounting so will this uh, course be beneficial for me so you are working in cs firm is it or cfo firm cs cs okay uh see somewhere if you can portray but see i'm sure uh, the basic accounting like you know posting of entries and preparation of balance sheets etc i'm sure you can manage am i right yeah right so but, but i have never never done all these works uh, just theoretical knowledge i have but still being a commerce professional i think uh, those are common expectations from anybody cs cms cs cp or whatever it is do you agree with me yes yes sir i mean if i can give you a trial balance for example you should be in a position to prepare the balance sheet out of it can i assume that yeah yes sir if so we can certainly try you see currently the trend what is happening in the fund accounting industry is uh, the main preference they are giving for cas uh, particularly when i am bringing the new team let's say from new york to india for example i want people who can quickly catch up the topics with limited trainings and who can stabilize the team on those lines they gave weightage to cas because they are already good in the accounts and they also have some practical experience in the audit offices for about 3 years uh, so they feel they are one of the right fit so that's where most of the openings are coming from last 2 years then they are going into ca inter means the people who are pursuing ca but not able to clear ca uh, ca inter with good accounting experience strong in accounts they are giving more weightage still they are not getting enough resources that's where from the last 6 months if you see cma also they are hiring aggressively uh because they are also from the same bucket right commerce professionals uh, so that's where they are hiring cma inter or cma cs uh, aggressive hiring not yet happened rather not yet they are looking for because cs normally meant for mainly law side or maybe company secretarial services side but uh, if you can show them uh, accounting skill i have and then i know this fund accounting knowledge uh, being a commerce professional i don't think it's a big deal to me uh hello sir this is pranit yeah please Uh, sir i am a chartered accountant right now i am working at icici bank as credit manager mm-hmm. mm, so uh, if i want to get into this fund accounting role uh, is this experience like uh, will they count this experience as Apparently credit they will not count because it's a different experience uh, but mm-hmm. they give some weightage for the uh, working uh, you know you have some experience corporate experience which means you know how to deal with the team or kind of you know how to work in a t- team environment so that way they give some weightage so what we have to present is your basic qualification is the main way to test you uh, plus the skills that we are learning in the class we have to highlight and get get through so we do have many people uh, so this is one of the common issue we are facing mainly with cas uh, the moment they qualify ca they think uh, easy to get the job of course job to pakka you will get that's what like these jobs right uh, after 6 months or 1 year you realize you are in a wrong path Uh, or some people will go for a low salary then they realize they have potential to get much better salary much better company they missed it already yeah. so many students every batch we are seeing at least 20 30 cas right uh, this is the common issue uh, after one year after two years some of them after five years they'll come back i think i'm in a wrong boat uh, so that's where we say uh, it's better if you can realize this uh, at the time of writing the cf final itself immediately if you can come to us uh, we can guide it in a right way uh the people uh, let's say one year back as a ca freshers or two years back who came they are into much better roles much better companies much better salaries let's say maybe they could have started around 9 to 10 uh now with 2 3 years experience they are already at 13 14 lakhs uh, whereas if you start as a relationship manager or some normal manufacturing company accounting or big four etc most of the times you start somewhere around 7 you will be still lying at around 9 9.2 
uh, right? So the speed of the growth, uh, I mean, you know, the speed at which you can grow in terms of salary, in terms of designation, the industry should also grow. Otherwise, if you go for the traditional roles like big four audits or maybe some others, you will have a job, but the point is the growth will be slow. Uh, so coming to your point, uh, pretty much it can work out. We do have uh, similar students, uh, but other students, my point is uh, the early you can recognize anytime, right? So we spend around 25 to 30 years in any career. So the better you make a clarity that, yes, this is the industry I have to be in, then continue to update the skills and stay in the same industry. That's where the growth will be much faster. Two years in big four, two years in manufacturing company, two years in service, two years in practice gone. Uh, by, the, by the time you realize where you are, it's already 10 years over. So that's what I can say. Yeah. Sir, my current package is like 7.4. Will they consider uh, this Let's as a see. base or... Okay. That's what my point is this. Uh, it, it doesn't matter really. Most of the companies as a freshers, they are offering at least uh, 8.5 to 11. Uh, the companies that we are sending uh, CAs into fund accounting, let's say Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, Deisha, Blackstone, uh, any of these names, uh, most of them are offering fresher also much better than that. So uh, even if I consider your previous package and offer 30% uh, around, uh, still you are less than freshers in any good company. So I don't think it's a big deal. Sir, for CS, are they counting the number of attempts? Like every company is... Uh, to Depends on the company, company, I agree. See, most of the times, the reason they keep this accounting, I mean, number of attempts are for a graduate and MBA, the reason they keep 80%, 70% cut off is, uh, maybe I have, let's say, 10 openings, uh, hundreds or thousands of resumes will come. I don't have that much time to filter out every resume, right? That is where I want to make sure at least somewhat, uh, you know, a decent resumes I'm getting. That's why they keep this uh, third attempt, uh, minimum less than three attempts you have to have, or degree and all 80% and all they'll have it. But if your resume can prove, or if you go in a right channel to them, uh, I have this skill set, what is required to you, uh, then attempts is not the criteria. So there are many companies. That's where I say, right, uh, most of the times we underestimate, you need a lot of guidance on those lines. There are some companies who pay much better for even fourth attempt person. Uh, there are some companies, they'll say first attempt only I need and still they pay less. So the point is, uh, overnight, you can't understand all these things. Uh, which company? Uh, these are all generic information. Uh, most of the companies are asking less than five items or less than three items, but there are many exceptions. So the short answer to your question is, uh, attempts, there is some criteria, but don't worry much about it. There are companies who can pay you much better. Uh, so we, for example, we got some of the uh, students around uh, yeah, sixth and seventh attempts also, almost uh, around 10 lakhs uh, per pressure also. So there are enough companies who give weightage to the skills. Let us work on that. Don't think about remaining things. Yeah. Sir, so, regarding this so, working hours, like generally there is a saying like in, in investment banking, working hours are 14 to 15 hours a day. Yeah. Is it so? so or, uh, these are many just, myths uh, about the industry. See, uh, coming to any role, uh, maybe even big four or normal audit office, if you take also during the month end or quarter end or there are specific days, new project came, etc. Some stretching may be possible. I'm not saying it's a golden uh, something like that. But what you see in this YouTube videos or Google, etc. about the investment banking industry, they're talking about certain specific divisions. For example, uh, investment banking generally known for, I mean, the main division is uh, uh, mergers and acquisitions, uh, where they help the clients to go for, you know, valuations. I mean, the value when there is a merger and acquisition is happening or a company want to go for IPO, these investment banking companies help them uh, deciding the valuation of the share and all. Those kind of companies, more often you get into that kind of a working environment where uh, it's a demanding. Uh, you have to work even 14, 15 hours to close the deal. For example, if Walmart is buying Flipkart, if you are part of that deal, you have to close as quickly as possible. If you prolong it for two months, three months, five months, six months, some other competitor will come and take that company. So that is where it's demanding. But then they pay you like anything, uh, those kind of divisions. I mean, compared to any other industry, maybe for freshers itself, you normally hear about IIMs and all these, uh, you know, Goldman Sachs hired or JP Morgan hired or Morgan Stanley hired. Uh, those are the uh, divisions where they pay you at least two to three times compared to the normal average salary outside. Let's say if you are getting maybe eight to 10 lakhs outside, maybe they'll pay you 25 to 30 times. There, 
you may have to work uh, most of the times. But the other roles, most of the roles that we are targeting is something like accounting for the funds or you know valuation of those investments or portfolio valuations or these kind of roles. They don't need that much, uh, except leaving any exceptions like you know uh, new projects and all. Normal. I mean, I, I was there in that industry, right? Uh, more than ten years. Most of the times, average time comes around eight to nine hours. Uh, I hope you got it. See, sure. that's what uh, sure. most of the times we go with an impression. What is there in YouTube? What is there in Google? Uh, we know everything. Most of the people, time pass people, keep those videos, uh, right? Uh, if you then, if you want to really get uh, real understanding, make somebody a friend in the LinkedIn who are in the industry. Uh, for example, you want to know about private equity. Somebody who is there at least 10, 15, 20 years in the industry, ask them, uh, is this true? They'll give you the right idea. Or if you want to know about big four culture, somebody in Delight or KPMG from last 10 years, ask them. Uh, mostly going by this YouTube and Google reviews, uh, you'll be kind of, you know, a real picture you will not get. I hope you are getting what my, my point is. Hello, sir. Sir, if I share. Yeah, please. Sir, if sir, I the morning will be covered in this course, sir. Sorry, what is covered? Can you repeat, please? Financial, financial modeling, sir. Financial modeling, uh, as of now, not in detail. Very basic we are covering. Uh, the reason is uh, number of opportunities are less in the market. Uh, but the more and more industry, the way it's growing, we're expecting more and more front-end roles to come. Over a period, we're increasing. But whenever we increase that, uh, for the old students also, we'll give, right? uh, we'll give the entry or maybe, uh, in the sense, uh, you know, access to the class. So currently, less time. Let's say, for example, when we are uh, dealing with equity research, uh, in that, some portion we are covering financial modeling. Uh, but if we keep it as a separate session, for example, fund accounting also earlier, we were covering within investment banking classes for about 10, 15 hours. But there is so much recruitment happening in fund accounting. Now we made it as a separate course for about 70, 80 hours. We are planning to increase further considering the openings. Same way, financial modeling, if there is enough opportunities, we'll increase the number of hours. They will give you access in the future. Hello, sir. Financial modeling the certificates will be helpful to the increase the salary, sir, or not? See, uh, if you are going into the that kind of a role, uh, I think my point is two. One is uh, the number of requirements in the uh, those front office where you have to value a company or a share very less. Uh, let's say if I take let's say for example, uh, let's say JP Morgan for example, if I have ten thousand employees that division, uh, which takes care of valuation and investment banking, I might have, let's say, 100 openings. Out of 100, every year I might have 10 openings. Very high level number I'm talking. For that, when they have paying capacity, they can take the best of the best, like IAMs or CFA first attempt guys or something like that, right? Or CFA first attempt or rank holders. These kind of resources I can take for 20, 30 lakhs by paying. Why should I take you? Or Deloitte or some other big force, there are some openings, but number of openings are less that is my main point when that is less no matter what you have done what you have learned is not much relevant right so is it helpful yes you can crack into that jobs obviously it is helpful if you're not able to crack then you can think of it uh, so learning anything is okay but is it useful uh, i doubt so if you have a learning uh, kind of you know what is called a zeal to learn keep upgrade yourself do that any learning is good uh, but think about industry requirement. There are less. That's my main point. Hello, sir. Hello. Sir, uh, Hello. Hi, sir. Yeah. Hi, sir. This is Srikant. Hello. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. Sir, actually, I'm a CA dropout student. I uh, have completed my CA foundation and uh, completed graduation also in 2018. And then after I had tried uh, my CA IPCC for two years. Hmm. And in 2020, I have entered into organization and that, and there I have working in mutual fund services for uh, two years. If, if this January comes, it, it will be two years. Hmm. And with very low package, which is uh, 1.5 lakhs. Uh, if I complete this uh, investment banking course, uh, how much minimum salary can I expect from this course? After completion? So this qualification is said? BCom, sir. BCom in 2018. See, BCom, most of the students, where is the salary range I get here? One second. Yeah. So become, uh, most of the times, again, exceptions are always there. Uh, most of the times, somewhere around uh, 3.5 inch, uh, we, we got uh, some very good companies. They are, people are able to stretch even with become around 6 lakhs also, but that's an exception. 
so anywhere between 3 3.5 lakhs range is most of the graduates are going uh, mba is also similar range depends on the company again uh, so uh, normal companies most of them come to around 4 4.5 range nowadays fund funding companies intertrust apex uh, most of these companies uh, around 4.5 lakhs range or some companies are also offering 3 3.5 range or the higher side uh, like rcgm goldman sachs some of the students who are able to go there around 7 lakhs so so it depends on what quality uh, you have and which company you are able to crack uh, those are going uh, ca inter anywhere between we are seeing uh, 4.5 to uh, 8.5 this is the most of them a fresh sample talking about if you already have some good experience it can be somewhere here and there uh ca or cma etc uh, anywhere uh, mostly ca it has become almost rock bottom at eight almost uh it to 12 fix uh, fixed i'm talking about uh, most of them got into uh, this is another game uh, most of the institutions play uh, with the ctc uh, even campus interviews uh, we were just talking about one of the uh, recent campus interviews some people include joining bonus shift allowances and what not to say ctc of four cities of five i'm talking about almost fixed uh, then any allowances like shift allowances are variable it will be in a top of it the rough range this so is what sir, i'm uh, i'm asking that will will my experience is considered uh, further i mean uh, try to understand i'm talking about fresher 3 3.5 you are saying my experience yes. is 1 yes. 1.5 what to do with that 1.5 are you getting what i'm saying Yes, yes, sir. And if and my you're already at ten, no, no. If you're already yeah, at six yeah. lakhs, then if you're asking me whether my experience is considered, I have to answer that question. Right. One point five is just nothing. Yeah. I don't know why you're working in that company for that. That's a different discussion. Uh, pretty much. I mean, my point is, you don't need that experience and certificate to get that salary. right uh, if you are attending the classes and if you are learning these topics anyhow you can aim worst case scenario at 3 3.5 then what are we talking about 1.5 yes sir thank you sir i hope thank you got the answer hi. Uh, hello yes hello yes yeah. hello sir abhishek mishra please sir actually uh, i have one doubt actually please. if uh, when when the certification is complete then you will provide also the certificate of this Uh, as of now we don't have it see most of the companies uh, uh, they know about us at least where active recruitment is happening uh, they are asking how do you get this knowledge if you can say that i attended uh, you know a uh, same other classes and i learned about the topics is also enough but what is most important forget about the institute and person if you can with clarity explain in the uh, interview uh, that is more than enough so short answer currently certificate physical uh, certificate we are not giving but we will guide you on what to mention in the resume how to present those skill set in the uh, interview how to get the right job so that is more important right just giving one certificate uh, i don't think it will help much yes, but yes, yes, actually yeah we are exploiting i mean we are just exploring that opportunity rather uh, plan uh, to issue certificate also but i'm not a big fan of certificate any time uh, it doesn't matter unless you are getting from maybe iim or maybe uh, iits or harvards others all just uh, they don't have that much weightage just for your satisfaction if required maybe we can think of uh, but we will continue to guide you on how to present your skills in india Okay. Uh, okay. Sir, hello, hello, sir. You can also uh, guide us on getting the NISM certification, right? So that, anyway, then on us to take the certification. Yeah, that is also one way. Yeah. Right. So for investment banking people uh, who are yes. attending those investment uh, banking classes, we do suggest uh, to write uh, some of the NISM certifications. But the point is, again, if you say that I have done ten NISM certifications, just because of that, I don't think company will give much weightage. Obviously, compared to other MBA fresher or degree fresher. if you have that certification you will be given some weightage but the point is those certifications also will not give you much practical knowledge when it comes to mnc requirements that's where though we say you write those require uh, you know certifications we still uh, add lot of points uh, from the requirements of the mnc perspective so that way uh, yes uh, some of them we do ask uh, uh, depends on your background Uh, if you don't have much weightage in the resume, we do ask to write uh, some of those certifications to give a little bit extra weightage. <laughs> But uh, if you are good enough to crack uh, the topics that we are talking about, uh, then you don't need those certifications also. So I hope you got it. Sir, I had a query. Like uh, when uh, we do this course just for knowledge, but many companies 
they may ask for a certificate if you have done this particular course and as you stated just now we don't have we don't provide certificate so how can so means uh, why will the company consider this as a valid uh, point valid point yes yes see where... abina what i'm trying to say is i was there in the industry for more than 10 years as an employee as a hiring manager each and every day we take feedback from hr side hiring manager side from student side right based on that we are updating the curriculum or requirements if as you said if the company is very specific unless you have certification i will not consider your resume we could have done that it's just a simple formality giving a certificate on your institute name is just nothing right it, it might take extra 5 minutes for us uh, but the main point i'm trying to drive here is we know what is the requirement so uh, you, as far as you can present the skill set in the resume see that again based on your background will help you uh, what to mention right uh, so you mention those things either we will send the resume to the hiring people or otherwise you can go through public portals like now be whatever will help you on how to get that benefit right for example if you think i'll keep certification from xyz institute let us assume it is giving 10 percentage weightage to your resume right we'll make sure you are getting more than 10 percentage weightage based on the guidance we are giving otherwise giving certification is not a big deal uh can i assume you are getting what i'm saying uh, yes me so actually hello sir uh, one doubt i have thanks like uh, yusuf one uh, second i'll take yusuf uh, abina continue please sir quickly that means i you know i am in my mbc like so the course was i'm doing it there's uh, it's not in mba so if i personally request your team for certificate then will that be accepted sorry uh, abhi now your voice is breaking i'm sorry uh, give me one second uh, from the comment section anybody's question is if i'm missing please read out i'm not in a position to read all 50 comments so yes sir i am ready to read it like uh, i'm my name is lakshmi and i was the one who kept all those comments uh, <laughs> my question is like uh, i started pursuing ca from 2011 and in distance education i completed my bcom also like 2013 i could finish my bcom through ambet university and then i tried for ca ipcc for another 2 years and 2015 uh, i quit that after you know uh, after a border score of 198 uh, so i started working for wipro for 6 months and then i got married and then uh, there is a gap of 2 years so i had to choose a role in tourism like i did my mba in tourism um due to for some other personal reasons and now i i think uh, i'm feeling like i had to come back to my accounting thing like will that be possible like i know there is a so much of cap and that is bothering me now see there are two points uh, did you read today economic times paper uh, i haven't i know most of the ca profession not ca uh, any commerce professional is supposed to spend at least uh, 15 minutes on a business newspaper every day the short uh, the point i'm trying to say is there are many companies who are looking for uh, people who are coming from a career gap i, I think that's the last point you are talking about two years career gap etc exactly uh, sir there are many companies uh, who want to give let's say 8 months to 10 weeks time to you uh, they'll check your preparedness for the job and if you are up to the mark uh, they'll give you permanent jobs so earlier what we thought uh, particularly for women employees if there is a career gap there are many companies having separate programs meant for it so ultimate point either to you or to the others also even if there is a career gap or i was in the other industry whatever it is if you have the relevant skills that are required for my job i'm more than happy to take so pretty much possible we do have yeah but uh, obviously um, the more other than relevant roles you have it will get little more complicated that point let us be outright uh, it's completely unrelated to finance and you spent a very long time i think long you are talking about 2013 to 2021 8 years out of 8 years 2 years gap out of 6 years uh i think uh, at least some finance we pro and all you are talking about so at least if there is a catching point some related uh, we have to capitalize on that uh, so that way we can work out please send the resume we'll have it uh, thank you so much sir i have so the question is um, um I, i i am recently qualified chartered accountant i got selected uh, in bar place uh, as a risk information services risk analyst uh, i am also pursuing frm Uh, will there be uh, so when will be the right time for me to pursue the fund accounting uh, and uh, investment banking courses 
see if you are already in the industry uh, every today is the right time in the sense uh, there is no point in waiting for something as i said mm-hmm. i myself made this mistake and many people are continuously doing in the sense i already have job do i need upgrade or maybe uh, i you know i have some idea about derivatives or maybe i have some idea about primary secondary market whatever do i need i think my point is very simple let us assume out of the content we are covering let us assume you already know 60% do you think remaining 40% that you are newly learning do you think it will add to your uh, you know success in the current industry or a current job yes yes pakka it will come to second point yeah. the cost versus benefit analysis most of the times most of the cs particular they are cma space the simple 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 analysis if i am spending 20 to 30000 or 40000 versus if my salary is increasing uh, instead of trying for a maybe 7 lakhs job if i get 8 lakhs or if i am capable of getting 15 lakhs or if i can get 17 lakhs because of the course straight away you are getting four to five times in the first job itself within one year the money you spent versus the benefit you are getting most of the times even some people get the job because of our courses they'll help their stu- their friends by giving the notes are you don't need to spend 20 to 25000 i'll give you the notes prepare you will get the job two things one you will either fail in the interview or you may get if there is a good job opportunities you may get but then the problem starts again the person who are trained obviously they'll go they'll do the work much faster than a untrained resource the other guy somehow will manage the work if you look at from today let's say you join in 2021 let's say up to 2026 five years span if you take the the person who are trained well maybe around 200 to 50 hours almost and given continuous guidance that guy might have reached let us say two promotions at least the other guy might have got maximum one promotion this will keep them demotivated maybe the first guy salary might be let's say 18 lakhs by fifth year or 20 lakhs the other guy salary may be 14 lakhs now he is in that you know array my friend is earning more i'm earning less i'll not give 100% in my job mostly i'll jump from one company to two two company to third company somewhere i'll lose the momentum right my friends may be managing myself now in the sense maybe i am a assistant vice president they are already vice president or senior vice president i'll lose this you know career uh, uh, the growth itself that's where i say don't think by giving the material or by giving this uh, free suggestions don't you think uh, you know um, I, i'm helping my friends you you make a mistake there the friend who is taking your help i think he is losing more uh, so make a simple calculation how much i'm spending how many uh, hours of training i'm getting how much relevant it is to the industry particularly if you're already in that industry please upgrade all right so every bit of learning maybe as i said let's assume 50% of the syllabus you already know then think that remaining 50% you are paying uh, this is another problem most of the people are in sfm or maybe somewhere frm syllabus may there are some topics i think i know about derivatives but mostly you, you don't know what is expected by the industry you have theoretical knowledge right understand practical knowledge and understand how to explain in the interview that's where we help in the mock interview and all knowing is one thing way to give weightage how to answer to the relevant again company to company the requirement will change some companies expect basic knowledge some companies expect advanced knowledge topic wise one company may need advanced knowledge in derivatives one company might need advanced knowledge in mutual fund all these things no way you can understand just being a cf fresher even if you are a rank holder even if you are a, a whatever it is right so you need the guidance trust me i am also first time uh, ca student if not rank holder uh, and uh, many uh, iims and many other top institutes we also go for uh, you know guest lectures we are always in touch with my colleagues who are from those institutions based on all these backgrounds we are doing this work uh, if some people think uh, you know maybe for advertising these people are telling i don't need that uh, even some people come sorry i already have job do i need training then again you are making a mistake and third assumption my company will give me the training what to do the job again i do i need training yes right i myself tried to uh, train my uh, employees when i was in the industry that is not sufficient nobody has that much time think practically right uh, why should i spend maybe 200 hours of training to you or maybe even 50 hours of training to you right max to max how to complete your job i'll give you training that's no way sufficient right there are many topics i also spend time in the industry i know maybe 10% out of that out of that topic uh, i still completed my work so managing the work you can do but if you want to make a successful career you need to know everything right and second part of your question uh, 
if i do cfa or frm most of the times technically you will be excellent no doubt in that uh, you know how to evaluate maybe option pricing or maybe valuation of a uh, you know equity uh, share etc but that's not enough uh, to make a career you need to know what is this industry what is the divisions in the industry which companies normally recruit a lot of other guidance you need uh, that's where we said uh, we are looking for a one stop solution we are not talking about the technical that's why we are not teaching frm or cfa or even ca final now uh, because they are exam oriented right how to pass the exam is more important uh, but if that is successful uh, maybe our uh, companies might not be searching this badly for a right resource in a sense Uh, most of the syllabus is missing what is exactly required by the corporate because corporate requirements always change maybe yesterday my fund is investing into equity shares today they are investing into private startup companies i mean uh, yesterday they may be investing into public company shares now startup companies tomorrow cryptocurrencies day after tomorrow something else so lot of things changes any education curriculum it will take time to get update Uh, that's where the short term courses and people who are continuously spending time to get update i mean that's what we do right every day go through that's what i said that fund accounting group also if you see a lot of articles or videos or you know material will be keep sending uh, there's so much happening in the industry uh, so nowhere a single course is enough if you are going by that myth i'm already having a cfa or i'm already pursuing cfa or frm or i'm already having a job then you are making a mistake i'm 100% sure uh, right so thank you sir very logical thank you yeah thank you hello sir yeah uh, i have two question this is prasad i have called you today morning um, so first question is um, what are the uh, i mean uh, opportunities to increase to grow abroad uh, after pursuing these courses i mean whether it is big mba or ca whatever yeah. it is so there are two ways to look at it one of the best way what i experienced is for example uh, if you want to check uh, check my linkedin pro, uh, linkedin account uh, ca madan reddy singh okay. uh, most of my colleagues uh, my, my, my first company was dash bank uh, last company is goldman sachs in between jp morgan etc i worked most of my colleagues who ever having this opportunity i mean this uh, intention to work in the globe uh, global uh, i mean to say uh, overseas locations uh, they are easily succeeded how they succeeded most of them success uh, the way they did that is join any company who is having uh, all these kind of you know branches for example all these company names i said they have offices in london australia singapore america and what not if you are a good performer in your current role if you can ask for that overseas opportunity uh, if your managers here and managers in the onshore if they have good uh, impression on you this guy ask logical questions he understand what he is doing then they'll give you opportunity many of them move like that right uh, if you check my linkedin network most of my colleagues uh, first connections you can see they are in singapore or london or uh, uh, australia or all this whatever globally known locations like new york and all Uh, that is one of the best way the second of course uh, doing those foreign mbas and all uh, but most of the times those are not working that great uh, many of my colleagues again uh, they are doing all this international mbas uh, uh, but then uh, normally it take longer time the best way is join these companies create that impression for that see untrained resources again is important uh, initially you will take one to two years at least to understand the role to understand the company by that time maybe you jump the company also for salary and all you really don't create those opportunities if you are already trained before going into that industry mostly now you don't waste the time to understand what is happening there your level of uh, the, the way you ask the questions to your managers they can understand you are a dependable resource so you create that first impression you are one of the best employee uh, you know technically sound in that aspect automatically these opportunities comes right a uh, few students moved already like that uh, so yeah take the uh, you know help from the hiring managers and then move there but there are uh, compared to any other industry uh, global opportunities are much more in this industry because all these top companies who ever having in india office those city bank credit shoes uh, goldman sachs what not morgan stanley everybody has offices everywhere in the world in the sense uh, the top comp- uh, the, the top countries uh, so moving is uh, much comparatively easy compared to either, any other industry 
and just to highlight uh, one of the reason that you know uh, we choose this career path i mean i'm not doing anything else now right i'm not working for a corporate i'm not doing ca practice we are not doing anything completely education education right the reason is uh, we strongly believe uh, there's a lot of growth uh, from many aspects right for example if you choose this long term growth of let's say 20 to 25 years at least in this industry at least minimum things you can get is this three four one is global obviously uh, means what you do uh, sitting in uh, uh, you know uh, bangalore office of jp morgan bangalore office of goldman sachs exactly similar work will be there from london exactly similar work will be there from new york in a way what you are learning uh, your standard is almost global standard if you want to move to those locations also possible though not everybody can move uh, but that opportunities are more right compared to second salaries uh, any time uh, can anybody know uh, what are the top industries who pay you much better salaries over a period not only freshers some people will compare with sap and all the problem is most of the people who go to sap and all they'll keep 4 to 5 years experience then they get into let's say 5 to 7 lakhs or 8 lakhs they think it's a starting salary but they gave you because you are 5 years experienced and then over a period those kind of roles will have a limited growth because it's just a technology you're learning in a way right how the sap application works uh, so if you are 15 20 years experience there is not much you can value add uh, to that job right then they'll take the freshers somewhere up to 15 16 lakhs it will go on stock those kind of things so any other uh, which industry can give you in the long term let's say you work for 20 years also if they are paying 25 30 lakhs also even if you are a graduate or mba or if you are a ca maybe 50 60 lakhs still not much pressure they still capable to pay any other industry uh, like investment banking somebody can talk about it. okay sir my second question is uh, i'll take uh, it from mine hello somebody else anybody uh, i mean uh, so, uh, some other industry can pay this much salary okay okay sir okay uh, my second question if somebody knows uh okay so uh, so then what i'm trying to say is in the long term right we have so many colleagues uh, for example when we join investment banking some of our colleagues join maybe in manufacturing or maybe sap arakil all these kind of things now if we compare obviously their salaries has grown to some extent and they stopped there uh, now there is a lot of pressure to deliver if they are giving giving more than 2 to 3 lakhs let's say 25 lakhs to 30 lakhs if you reach uh, there is a lot of pressure there but here because they compare with dollar salaries right same ca with 5 years in new york maybe getting at least for example 7 to 8 lakhs minimum to minimum uh, then paying 3 to 4 lakhs in india is just very small <clears throat> so that way salary growth over a period is really good then global careers obviously work life balance here and there exceptions but leaving that uh, most of the companies are practically stop companies they offer much better work life balance then learning opportunities obviously most of these companies uh, like hsbc jp morgan goldman sachs etc more than 150 years old companies mostly even state state kind of companies compared to indian companies other companies maybe 10 years 20 years old they have good established hr policies established education policies inside so much better matured organization they are right initially when you don't have job you look at only job and salary once you get those things then you think about all these things uh, do i have learning opportunities do i have work life balance is the culture of the company is good or not then it comes so don't make a mistake now joining and jumping into some other roles then get into these questions better start at the early itself if i'm starting with this company today what what is my uh, salary growth and career growth after 5 years after 10 years after 20 years look at it if you have an answer then only get into it, right so that's where we feel in all these parameters uh, this is one of the best industry right that's where we are spending too much time and we are not only certification now we are starting pgdm also from next batch i mean next uh, academic year mba in a way uh, both for uh, executive mba uh, for working people as well as for freshers full time we are starting uh, as as i said uh, we strongly believe uh, it's, it's one of the best industry uh, if you have the right guidance and skill set go ahead uh, for, for, the, yeah. for that pgdm uh, which university we will get the certificate sir Uh, all details fully i'll give a uh, partial information i don't want to share there uh, currently uh, we are getting uh, we are in the talks uh, to get into some good universities uh, to get those uh, you know formalities done uh, soon probably within two months we'll declare everything indeed thank you sir thank you sir and again i'm repeating uh, i'm not talking about just based on one feedback any time my personal experience is the strongest part for me uh, more than 10 years literally i was there so we know what is this industry and capability and you know uh, good and bad side of uh, that 
Second, from last three years, every student we are placing, or at least, you know, meritorious students, we're always in touch with them, like, uh, you know, what's happening? Are we missing any training here? Are we making any mistake by sending you to this uh, particular industry or particular company? What is the feedback about the company? What is the feedback about that manager? Everything we get. The other side, hiring managers feedback also we take, you know, we send some students, how are they performing? Uh, so they give excellent feedback. Are these students with minimal training they're completing, uh, normally giving awards or, you know, giving recognition to those employees and all keep continuously happening uh, we take feedback from an employee who joined 15 days back in a uh, company how, how are they feeling how is it uh, we take a feedback from two years three years four years old and we also have experienced uh, students any batch right people uh, having uh, even investment banking fund accounting experience of three years five years ten years 15 years also we have people who are already vps in the companies also we have uh, as i said it's not that uh, they're not skilled the point is they will not get that time uh, to go through all these things, we summarize, right? Within one month, uh, we keep all the latest examples. Uh, every batch, latest examples we take, right? Recently, this company invested into this company. Recently, this regulation came. Uh, all these things we cover. So that is where they also come to us. So the point is uh, multiple sources. When we are endorsing a point, this is the good career. This is the good company. This is the best salary you can get. We are doing research from almost every aspect. Uh, speak to HR, speak to students, speak to you know uh, hiring managers and everywhere. Uh, overall, uh, syllabus is also updated accordingly. Almost every batch we update at least certain things. Uh, the other side, uh, you know, uh, keep, keep upgrading basically. Uh, this, this should be one stop solution for that industry. Right. Yeah. Go ahead, please. Hello. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir, I want to know about that. Uh, will uh, trading would be considered as uh, experience or it would not be considered as experience? See, but... anywhere, uh, how you present is more important. So short answer, little bit, it is considered as relevant. Uh, but if, achha, if you are saying trading, personal trading, or you are working in a broker office where you are doing the trading. No, sir, I am doing self-employed. I am no, doing self, it. Self, it cannot be experience. Yes. But the way you have to present is you can't even say I'm doing the trading because most of the companies give you negative marks in the sense. Uh, if you have the trading mentality, your mind is fully focused on that. What is happening? A lot of tension basically, right? So uh, any employee, a company expects them to fully focus on the job rather than trading. Uh, so that will not. Uh, but then uh, there is a way to present your skill, right? Because you know what is the stock market. You know how it works. You can yes, put sir, that sir, in the uh, I yeah. have good knowledge of derivatives. Is that means no, uh, I can understand, Pankaj. That's, that's what I'm saying. You have to pro portray that either you have done some certifications or you uh, normally you follow the market. That's why you have the knowledge. But if you say I'm doing the trading, consider that as an experience. Nobody will. You got okay, it? Sir. We yeah, do have sir. students from that background. Uh, we'll help you on how to present, uh, right? See, most of the times the problem is I may be extremely skilled, uh, even some extremely qualified also, but they don't know what is this company requirement and how to answer that specific interview. That's where they go wrong. Uh, that's where that fine tuning the answer is required. That we can help. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Hello, sir. I am here. Yeah. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Go ahead, please. Recently completed my uh, Master of Commerce. Had the career option to choose SAP FIC or fund. I mean, dialogue. Can you please? Sorry, please? your voice is very low. I'm sorry, I'm not able to understand. Can you please repeat, or maybe you can type in if network issue. I recently completed Commerce. Uh, which is the right career option? Be FIC or fund accounting. See, FICO, I already said, right? As a student, when we started, this is one of the suggestions we received as Safico is growing and all. I have absolutely, uh, I mean, I have uh, at that time as a student also, I'm very clear. If you learn any software, how to do with Excel, how to do with some XYZ uh, program, that's uh, at least this kind of SAP and all. It's a limited knowledge in the sense how to use that particular product. It's almost like how to drive a car right because of that i want to make a career i really doubt it right uh, maybe they are paying because there is no people who can understand that all the modules or the functions uh, in that particular software but think about it if you are a 10 years 15 years old professional maybe in the investment banking maybe in the audit office or anyway we expect you to come with your own solutions also right uh, it's not just to keep doing the work as an entry-level job yes any job is okay uh, out of that skill jobs, maybe that is giving a little more. But if you look at 15, 20 years and later, 
there's not much value addition you can bring, right? If you're a finance professional, if you're into accounts team or audit team or even taxation team or even uh, uh, this investment banking fund accounting teams, you will understand more the experience you have, the value addition you can give to the company will increase, so salary will increase. These are technical, techno-functional. Uh, I really doubt uh, over a period you have growth. Initially, maybe you have. So uh, my short answer, uh, the, the roles that you are talking about, they don't have long term. And again, I'm telling, I'm telling based on the experiences also, not my opinion itself, right? I have many CAs uh, who are into that uh, SAP FICO or whatever, 10, 15 years. We take feedback from them, right? Uh, if I am wrong, I'm ready to uh, rectify and then maybe introduce that course also in my institute, but that's not happening. That's where we are not even focusing on. I hope you got the answer. Hello, sir. Yeah. Hello. Right, please. Hello, yeah. sir. Yes, uh, I'm Vinay. Please. Yeah, uh, I'm done my MBA in 2019. Mm. I have a two years uh, career break right now um, due to some reason. Uh, then I, after onwards, I will start this uh, fund accounting and investment banking. It is, it is a right career for me as an MBA student. Uh, sorry, which year you are done with MBA? 2019. Okay, currently you are doing with? I mean, what are I'm you doing? Not doing uh, I'm, right now I'm not doing any job. Mm -hmm. we can work out again we do have those kind of students we can work out a plan around it even if you go as a fresher also uh, with uh, some personal reasons whatever what is the reason you are not working uh, mm -hmm. if you have a strong reason and if you learn the topics very well uh, still as a fresher also we can try otherwise we can work out a way yeah. you can yeah, thank you, thank you. So, so investment banking and fund accounting mix uh, both the batches combined has the batch started for both IB or combined combination of IB and not individual batch combined batch of both IB and uh, fund accounting has it started yet we, we never have that available option. we never have that option so otherwise take it this way let's say uh, today investment banking is started let's assume within two months let's say 20th of January it is over Maybe 21st, another fund accounting okay. batch will start. So if you continue for you, it looks like continue. That way you can plan. But we don't have integrated okay. batch. As I said, uh, the reason is this. One, there are some industry people who are already working, felt uh, you know, uh, that remaining topics related to IB, they already know. Uh, they want to know more about fund accounting. For them, even only fund accounting is also helpful. That's why we have a separate batch. Uh, but once you are joining IB batch, anyhow, you are given access to fund accounting. So you can plan it. So I'm not seeing any value addition in your question in terms of, is there an integrated batch? So take two months this class, take one month that class continuously. Next day itself, it will start. Then in a way, three months, you can assume it's a continuation class. So am I missing anything from your logic side? I want the total cost involved in uh, fund accounting. No, yeah. So that's where I said, uh, if you want to do only fund accounting, there is an option which is 35. Uh, sorry, 24. Uh, investment banking, anyhow, it's 35. But the moment you enroll for investment banking, you are given access to fund accounting. So that way, both together, <clears throat> both together, investment banking plus fund accounting is 35. Or if you want to do only investment banking, that is also 35. But you are anyhow given access to fund accounting. But considering more openings are there in the fund accounting, we strongly suggest don't miss the fund accounting, even if you enroll for investment. So if I register for investment banking, it includes the complete fund accounting part. You're right. right. Or you're the right. only the little You're right. 35 both includes investment. both batches. In a way, effectively, you are paying only 11,000 for investment. Okay, so understood. understood. Hello, sir. Please. Uh, sir, currently I'm working in the accounts domain uh, because due to the month end activities and all, uh, I'm like a uh, fit up of it, like a tick of pressures and all. Mm. So is it suitable for me to again go for fund accounting or go for the investment bank? Which one would please? How long you were into accounts domain? Uh, almost for a year, sir. Complete one year. <laughs> one year is too little. Pretty much you can go. Uh, then go for both, please. Yeah. Okay, sir. Right. Uh, it's better to uh, see. Any quality will come. Uh, if you spend 10 hours, you might get 20% uh, quality. If you spend maybe 100 hours, you, you get at least 60% quality. So that way, if you're from other industry or you're a fresher MBA, fresher BCom, uh, you're not much aware of that industry, then we strongly suggest to go for both uh, because you spend more time, roughly around three months. So if you attend all these classes, obviously, you'll be much better on the subject. So by default, so, uh, better plan for both. So how will the pressure in the fund accounting, sir, like uh, the similar way, how we it will be yeah. accounting to my 
see that's what uh, there are two points uh, accounting normally if it is a small company for two reasons the pressure will be more one is uh, they don't uh, hire too many people and they look at that as a supporting function right if i am a car manufacturing yeah. company accounting is a supporting function so i don't increase salaries much for that reason people will be keep leaving uh, that's where most of the times i end up working maybe 10 12 hours and particularly at the time i'll be more working right that's one of the drawback yeah. of a normal accounting come to yeah. here it's a revenue generating in the sense if you are working for sitco for example sitco is a fund administrator means uh, if the fund is launched by goldman sachs they'll get the revenue from investor yeah, that out of that revenue they pay certain services means the more they are preparing the accounts of the funds they get better revenue because they are able to see the revenue normally they pay you much better salary right particularly if you are a good dependable resource they'll give you timely promotions and timely salaries and they get dollar revenue versus they are paying indian salaries that is another advantage so that way uh, compared to the salary you get for example if you are getting 1 lakh in an indian company let's say you are working 16 hours for example roughly uh, whereas the same salary here you might work just 8 to 9 hours i hope you got it 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 will be much yes. better in terms of salary versus pressure it will be much better that logic also i'm telling you can uh, test check anywhere or maybe take opinion of anybody uh, then come back uh, if you have any part yeah. okay sir thank you yes please any other question yeah sir hello yeah yeah go ahead uh, please sir in fund accounting is there any roles apart from accounting actually i am from bsc mba right now i am working yeah, in ib yeah they do process. they do so for example uh let's say i launched a fund today i took money from mukesh amani for example right he gave me let's say 100 crores now i'm managing that money to make investments into let's say shares of maybe infosys company shares of pipro company etc i'm investing now in this process i do need people other than accounting also mainly for example to report the profit or loss i mean to prepare the reports to be sent to the investor or sometimes to collect the money from investor to pay the money to the investor there are cash flow teams you just need to know, need to know normal uh, you know how much to collect small small calculations so that way uh, even there are compliance teams there are law related knowledge teams uh, so there are operations teams uh, which do not require hardcore accounting like debit credit yeah. hello sir please yeah sir i have started my ca with pcom in 2017 i am done with pcom but couldn't clear my ca ipcc i am done with cpt but not ipcc mm -hmm. and uh, right now i don't have any professional qualification and practical experience so my first question is how this classes help me will this be worth learning now in getting a job yeah it's the highest qualification is a uh, degree as of now is it yes that's it. Mm -hmm. there are two ways to answer your question one is with the graduates like bcom do they have openings more okay. openings are for ca ca inter etc then mbs then bcom they are comparatively less roles but at same way there are less people who are graduates and know about the industry so that way maybe if ca is placed within 15 days of the course for example you may be placed within 3 months from the course but there are opportunities come to second point since oh, you are telling the second question is uh, this career gap or will this be a disadvantage while giving that's okay we can work out that's not an issue how many years gap you're talking about uh like i'm done with bcom in 2017 so it's almost four years that I can mean, be I a question I, hmm. uh, i got your point that we can find out a way uh but then uh, the most important point is are you good in the accounts looking at cpt you already cleared you are saying and you attempted yes. CIPCC. i'm sure yeah that and i have one exemption you. already yeah i have a good accounting knowledge then i got your point uh, as far as you are good with the accounts and with the concepts that we talk about in the fund accounting we can manage so, yeah that is slightly disadvantage i'm not saying it's nothing uh, but then we can work out it send the resume uh, it's possible and um, how much minimum salary can i expect in this situation uh, difficult to comment because there are two points again not only your qualification anybody talking about minimum i say two things one is depends on which company right for example within this industry if i am very very basic skill i mean i have very basic skill then there are some companies who will pay you even oh, sorry, somewhere around uh, somewhere around 15000 20000 per month those kind of companies are also there uh, but then the other side if you can talk about the top companies for the same qualification sorry sir can't be can i continue my answer uh, sir i have a good question sir one second one second 
sorry i think there is some disturbance i'm muting everybody yeah the salary part i'm saying even if i'm a graduate there are companies in the same industry who can pay you even 15000 per month they are very lowest level right the other side uh, there are companies who can pay you around even 50000 right uh, same graduation the point is which company i am able to clear that we will come to know only when you attend the classes when we take the mock interview we can assess how far your preparedness is there accordingly we can tell you which company is better to you so minimum salary very difficult to say unless you know about you right it's not a industry standard it depends on the company within the industry there are different standards in terms of salary i hope you got it yeah very high level answer anywhere between somewhere around that's what i said 3 lakhs is the average kind of thing here and there uh, as a graduate right. if you can good enough maybe you can aim for 4.56 also but if you are really good uh, go ahead with the other question please yeah uh sir go ahead vamsi uh sir uh, so you were mentioning that uh, every uh, finance background professional generally needs to have some exposure to earth reading these uh, financial newspapers and articles so i just want to know these uh, newspaper articles that generally come out are written by people as far as i've seen on their linkedin profiles are generally uh, mba grads or from the cfa level 1 level 2 grads so i just want to know what is the prospect of doing a course something like this that i can also contribute to some articles like those is it possible why is somewhat echoing uh, i think if i understood well uh, let's say if i am from a cfa background or maybe top mba college background maybe i can write some articles i'll have that much clarity but if i am doing the certifications courses can i get that clarity i think roughly that's your question am i right yes sir kind of uh, after doing the go something like this can i expect getting a job where i could also be an author of these uh, articles or these papers or something like that there are i mean see i don't know how far uh, you are following the real time examples uh, take most of the successful people in any industry i don't think they are qualified in terms of qualification is too high most of the times they understand the real time world requirements coming to the second part even again same dialogue check my network also we have many senior vps or who are leading almost india operations also they are just graduates so most of the times the question is are you understanding the real requirements of the company or customer that is more important than the qualification only at the entry level of course i don't know whether a graduate is great or a ca is great so i'll give some weightage to the qualification obviously at the entry stage but over a period qualification doesn't matter skill is matters coming to second point how do we contribute for that skill that's what i'm saying we go with overall development in the sense we'll make you read the newspapers in the classes uh we'll explain uh, right for example who are the top 10 private equity funds in the world who are the top 10 hedge funds in the world what is the background to them what kind of strategies they are following that's why they are successful and then how this learning is helpful to you to crack the interview or to use it in the real time so that way there enough even our students who write many articles in the linkedin etc about all these things recent changes what is the meaning of etf what's happening in the cryptocurrency so once you have that knowledge or way to get that knowledge if you know then why not writing an article or becoming one of the head of the department and all i don't think it's difficult uh yes sir uh, so do, do you from your past uh, placements have had any person going into these roles sir which specific role you are talking about maybe i am still missing sir sure, okay i'll take an example uh, so i have been reading this business line newspaper and articles every now and then so uh, i have uh, noticed that the people over there uh, call themselves as uh, research analysts or something like that uh, come from the background where they have done probably uh, an mba or probably a pg in economics or statistics and they are contributors to these uh, papers and they, they are in the roles of uh, research analyst okay so short answer are there students from our side who went into equity research yes we do have but not many uh, so as i said in terms of number of roles in the industry the most amount of recruitment is happening in private equity fund accounting and then hedge fund accounting means largely uh, kind of middle office back office if i say right uh, that's where most of the students went remaining yes some of them are able to get into all kinds of roles in the ib industry including private equity front office also some of them uh so coming to equity research yes some of them went are they writing articles i'm not sure but what is the big deal in writing the article once you have that knowledge 
I hope you, it answers your question. Okay, okay, sir. Please sir, there's one more question, topic. sir. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sir, uh, one more question, sir. Sir, uh, a, a few while ago you were mentioning that the SAP FICO is just like another tool where you learn it and probably uh, th there might be another technology that might replace it and it will become totally redundant. So, uh, sir, how exactly is the uh, uh, R2R accounting experience relevant for the fund accounting uh, positions or would it be absolutely considered irrelevant? No, no, it's considered relevant because uh, in R2R also regard to report, uh, you have this accounting skills like posting up and this preparation of balance sheet, etc. So that is one of the relevant skills for the fund accounting. So they will give weightage for that. So would they consider that uh, experience and would they decide upon the CTC when whenever discussion something like that? I got to point, largely short answer is yes, but then look into the exceptions. Most of the times, uh, th these are two independent topics in the sense, this R2R accounts payable, accounts receivable is a little bit matured and kind of outdated industry, right? Uh, those roles are more active in 1990s. Uh, now GenPact or Accenture or EXL, all these things. Now, there, there are enough people who can understand those rules. There are enough people who can do that. So salaries has gone down drastically there, right? Even CF pressure, initially they'll say CTC of 7.5 or something or become maybe uh, 2 lakhs, 2.5 lakhs or 1.8 lakhs or something like that, these companies. Even if you work for 10 years, if you want to leave, they'll allow you to go because you're not that dependable. Somebody else with two, three years experience, if you are eight years, the other side, two, three years experience guy, largely with little bit training, I can make them work. So that way salaries are anyhow low in that industry. Now let's assume you're getting six lakhs, maybe with six years of experience. Now, the other side I'm talking about fund accounting, it's a little new area, obviously. You need two types of skills, worst case scenario, right? The understanding of the fund accounting industry, the types of funds, the products they use like derivatives, corporate actions, and many things that you need to know, plus accounting you need to know. So they, they are anyhow paying much better. Even freshers itself, we are talking about with good skills, skill set, they are getting better than that by six lakhs. So now, if you have six lakhs there and if you are expecting 30%, why not? Happily they can pay. There are many people who jumped from R to R to here. There are any anywhere between 30% to 100% they got the uh, you know uh, uh, increase based on which company they are able to pay. Is that clear? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, one last question, sir. Okay. Others also sir. probably will take two, three questions. I think it's getting, uh, maybe we'll uh, try to keep it more important. Uh, others, anyhow, in the meanwhile, uh, again, I'm repeating the contact points. Give me one second, please. So, uh, to be in touch, uh, if somebody might have sent that fund accounting uh, channel ka link there, uh, Telegram channel, stay in touch there. Uh, we'll be keep posting the updates of uh, upcoming batches and uh, knowledge updates, etc. The other side, uh, please stay in touch with me at uh, WhatsApp 9686867006 or by Telegram. Uh, I can still be available at uh, 9611262399. Uh, this one WhatsApp. Uh, so yeah, stay in touch and the website to get updates is for as of now we have uh, fundaccounting.co.in. This is the website. Uh, all upcoming batches and other updates. Uh, one more once the uh, registration of the entity is still pending. Once done, one more uh, website will share. So these are the. Uh, I mean, if you are missing some questions, uh, anytime please reach out in this. Uh, 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 Numbers or even uh, CM Madan Reddy web uh, YouTube channel also has some of the videos, uh, previous awareness sessions. Some of the questions may be answered there. Uh, these are the areas to get in touch with us or uh, channels to get in touch with us. Yeah, go ahead with the question now, please. Yeah. Uh, go yes, ahead. Sir, uh, yeah, please. Hello, sir. sir. I would like to know. The a career opportunities down the line after uh, three to five years, sir. Once I uh, pursue this uh, investment banking uh, course, or once I am into this uh, investment banking career. I think your question is: Are there good opportunities down the line? Am I right? Okay. Assuming that is yes, there are. No, no. Uh, how? Okay. how... <clears throat> sir, 
sorry there is a network issue from my side uh, what i am trying to ask is uh, you know after 3 to 5 years uh, uh, how should i prosper or you know just i want to know uh, how my career growth uh, goes or see that's what sai i'm trying uh, to say two points from the uh, even more the voice is breaking i'm sorry if i'm missing but largely this is a common question also so i'm taking up two things one to make good career two things right one do i have that skill set required for that industry two whether the industry has the growth so if i take second part whether the industry is growing investment banking and fund accounting pretty much if you want to check any simple statistics uh, check mutual funds growth in india aum they call it as assets under management the amount invested into mutual funds as a fund accounting uh, it was roughly around uh, i think less than 10 lakhs even 5 lakhs crores roughly uh, just 10 years back 2010 now every 3 years it's getting double by 2021 it's almost 36 lakhs crores right uh, it's growing like that means awareness about the stock market awareness about the mutual fund and industry even in india come to worldwide because of two three reasons one is interest rates are very low uh, most of the times so lot of investors are giving the money to these fund managers manage my money invest into startups like uh, zomato swiggy whatever or invest into real estate gold cryptocurrency wherever give me profit so investors giving lot of money tons and tons of money is increasing which means the industry is growing at a rapid speed come to second these developed nations most of these things are popular in america or uk kind of countries now most of that work they are outsourcing maybe some dependable resources are there in india or for their cost cutting reasons whatever the outsourcing is daily picking up right day by day you can see lot of openings in fund accounting etc so that outsourcing will continue to grow which means foreign companies supporting from india that is also increasing to domestic industry is also growing three we are not talking about something like a technical knowledge like sap fico or something we are talking about finance any finance professional need to know kind of things in the sense where the money is coming from what are the interest rates whether it they are going up or going down what is happening with the stock market all these things are related whatever career you are in even if you are in a manufacturing company in the accounts department you are expected to know these things right where from the money is coming when the tax rates are increased etc so that way whatever standard you take these are the must know skills and second point that industry is growing so being a finance professional learning about the finance and you being there in the industry which is growing in this combination obviously there is a long term career and the growth will be there right so you you are acquiring the skills and you are in the industry which is growing uh, these are the two combinations which any professional need uh, to make a long term career so 3 uh, years 5 years is very short even if you look at 20 25 years also there is growth i hope it answers sir can we succeed yeah, in uh, trading stock market my space <laughs> Sir, uh, just I want to continue on my question. So let's say I don't have any doubt on the investment, uh, uh, investment banking uh, or investment management industry. So uh, you know, being here in back office or middle office, uh, you know, uh, how how I be benefited? Uh, that was my specific question, sir. Let's assume that uh, you know, instead of doing this uh, CFA or any other course. and how the chance to move to front end roles uh, you know uh, you just uh, i'm asking like a suggestion uh, so do you suggest to be in the middle office and back office roles or how it should be okay. see the short answer is what you like that's all <clears throat> there are people some people who don't like front office roles because of the pressure because of the expectations moving to back office middle office also for example if you are a guy no back office is normally not much salary i want to move to front office then of course as you said doing cfa kind of courses also helps to some extent but there are many cfas who are not even getting the job a right job uh, right so don't assume just because of the qualification i'll get into front office or i'll get into top company no what you need is uh, probably the proper guidance in the sense even if you join today in the back office if you have right managers or right organization where that culture is there moving from front office to back office back office to front office the moment you have that skill set there are many companies so moving is never that difficult only thing is do you have that skill set uh, 
If you don't have how to upgrade, there are two, three ways. One is yes, doing some courses. Only courses will not help at the same time. Uh, other things also you have to develop, maybe reading the newspapers, taking the right guidance from the people who are working in that industry. Uh, then uh, continuously work, upgrade the skill set. Then you can move to, uh, if you think front office is the right place, you can also move. There are many people uh, who moves internally in all these organizations, they have that culture. Okay, uh, other questions, maybe one or two quickly, please. Uh, we can wind up in next uh, max five minutes. Sir, uh, can, can, yeah, sir, can we uh, start trading or uh, we can succeed in trading in stock market after this course? Possible, yeah. So we'll make you learn all the topics, the background of those topics. So then if you continuously follow some apps or these business news channels and papers, why not? Yes. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Any other question? Uh, hi, sir. This is uh, Monica. Uh, actually, I was uh, qualified in uh, in January, sir, 2021. I'm a qualified chartered accountant. I joined in uh, uh, Zenpact and I feel I felt that I was in a wrong uh, path. So I resigned and I wanted to join and I wanted to switch this profile. So what would you suggest me, sir, uh, to uh, join both the courses or only fund accounting? Uh, more prefer, uh, more important to you is fund accounting. Uh, if possible, try both. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. Yeah. Uh, sir, is there any role to accept the fund accounting after attending the program, like in treasury or fixed market? Yes, you do. So uh, in IB, we do cover all these operations related also in the sense uh, you, you have to sit in the trading desk to buy and sell some securities or you want to sit in the reconciliation team where uh, you do the reconciliation or you want you, you want to be into the corporate actions team where you process dividend, uh, bonus issue, etc. There are multiple teams uh, for any team you can try. Yeah. Apart from fund accounting also, you can apply for the other roles as well. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Uh, sir, I sure. have this doubt. So basically, because we work in big companies, I just wanted to know how will be the work environment. Because, you know, work timing is definitely there everywhere. Because we are in India and we don't have a 9 to 5 life. And we have to work extra hours just to be better. But how is the work environment? Environment Like, is it similar to and stressful to audit? Or like, because, you know, start audit, USI audit. These work environments are quite stressful for a normal person. See, so how is the work environment in this industry? I got your uh, question, Ritu. There are two points in that, right? One is uh, any day uh, for CAs. Uh, I, I know your background, right? So that's why I'm giving specific answer uh, for CAs uh, for others you might be wondering she is our student only so I know uh, so for CAs any anytime big force is stressful uh, we know that right so they normally give uh, I mean you know the best use of resources you have to learn from big four uh, culture uh, and when we recruit people from big four also they feel normally the work is very less in this industry because they spent more time in the other side Come to within the industry, what is a work life or maybe what is the work environment? It depends on two factors, right? One, which team in a sense, the team started 10 years back that particular work, what they are doing, then all things are already streamlined. So now you know what is the deadline, which is the quarter and which is the month end, et cetera, et cetera. All expectations are, are clearly set. So now they'll be well planned. So normally it will be much better, mostly for example, on an average eight to nine hours, except uh, there is an attrition kind of things. Or if you are getting into a team which is just started, uh, they are getting migrated from other country, then initially it will be a struggle to streamline the team. So the point is, which team, uh, which organization, how old is that team? All in this combination, it will work. But most of these stabilized teams, it is a normal, nothing great. In the sense, you can't compare with the big four pressure here. It's, it's quite less. Uh, so one last question. So basically when we join a new industry we take time to learn the processes and all like it takes if even, even if audit even if you work for three years at the fourth year there's something new always coming up because the companies keep on changing but in this industry like how long we will take to learn the work like okay this is last six months i've worked and now i know what i'm doing and all. how long will that take see that again average depends, role, like any okay uh, see there's nothing average how do i know each person is different not into in the sense some people are little quick learners based on maybe their qualifications or their own personal uh, you know, attributes. Uh, some people ask each and every question. They try to understand from the detail. So largely around six months to one year, uh, you can understand maximum things. But most of the times what any qualification people miss is, uh, take any company, for example, take State Street or JP Morgan or BNY Mellon, whatever. These are so big companies. Maybe what is the team you are working to understand that culture or maybe that work and you know that deliverables let's assume roughly six months to 12 months 
but most of the times what we miss is uh, where from the work is coming into my team i uh, means the teams which are before to me the for that work which are the teams which depends on my work that understanding uh, it will take good amount of time maybe let's say 3 to 4 years for example that's when the quality of your work quality of your portion will improve then uh, okay uh, this is the team who are sending this inputs if there is an error probably this is the team who are responsible if they fix it there my work will become better so all these things that's why normally they expect you to uh, you know inform your managers and understand being a fresher we are at, at times overestimated oh my god i'm a cr rank holder i'm a first attempt guy i know everything uh, no matter what your background is uh, you need good amount of time to understand so short answer to your question very high level take 6 to 12 months for a process take 3 to 4 months to, uh, 3 to 4 years to understand at least you know around the teams then understanding the organization understanding where my organization stands when it compares to competitors uh, that is when you become maybe manager senior manager or head of the department that clarity will take at least 15 years roughly uh, that's where i said uh, if you are mostly spending time on the courses trainings and then go through industry related journals that websites and all probably it will come to 50% maybe what i'm saying as 10 15 years probably it will come to 7 years that's where real success comes i hope you got it uh, so when yeah sir so, so when the next seven session because of many people waiting you know i referred many people to be here because it's a big thing sir uh, uh, to all who guys who are listening now i would like to tell you see knowledge is a part you can get that from studying books also but getting the right guidance going to the right company you know hr reviewing your resume also takes the effort so that's the reason why you should be joining here to be in the perfect path like knowledge you will anyways get by studying the books but you know hr reviewing making the effort why shall i review your resume this is player this is the place where madan sir helps you guys so i think this is definitely a go to i would so, say it's a surprise ritu thank you for that <laughs> so at times i feel like this uh, ask some old students to give their feedback so that people who are listening they should understand the reality of what we are talking about but at times they might feel maybe i am asking the students to tell certain things just to please me they are giving you know feedback they might feel uh, so i'm avoiding but if you see interview preparedness session that's what i do no sir students. outside Yeah, outside the market is very tough, sir. You know, you even if you apply to hundred companies, no one's going to come back. Okay, I saw your resume. What is the extraordinary skill you have? So outside market to even get an interview is very tough these days, and especially when in an international market, no one's giving you a damn. So in the India, there's a huge competition. So it's very tough to you know get your resume reviewed and enter an interview these days outside in the market. That's one part. I That is very difficult. Coming to even second part, even if you get into the best of the best company, best of the best salary, if you don't understand why you are doing a specific work and how it is related, how you can make long term career, if you don't have that clarity, mostly six months or twelve months, you will find out some negative points out of that and you will quit. Then after five years moving into different roles, you will understand. Ah, child, looks like first is best to you. Then you will try to come back. So many mistakes happen like this. We see day in day out. That's what I'm saying. I'm not looking at array how to get the job. We'll teach some important questions and get into. That's what I'm saying. We are seeing right. For example, if you see my status today, uh, that is one of the status with maybe five six years industry experience person. Uh, if you look at daily basis, my conversations. I think some of the teams you know, you also know uh, out of those classes, what kind of people are attending? People with ten fifteen years experience are also attending those classes. So I think my point is, we take inputs from many many sources and based on that we give the guidance. So uh, if people are thinking I want to waste my own time uh, to learn all these things, maybe five to ten years, then I want to correct. That's too late. <laughs> uh that is the sole reason we are sitting here uh, so not only getting the job even after you getting into the job you make lot of mistakes that's where we cover either in the classes or you know separate sessions and we are also planning for industry leader sessions going forward once we start mba uh, it is accessible for the people who are attending this certification courses also uh, senior management from the industry who are my managers or my peers who are senior vps etc they are ready to come and share their experiences we conduct all those stuff so you'll understand yeah sometimes if you are open to listen uh, all these things will save lot of time to you uh, rather than you making the mistake and then coming back uh, okay if you are closed eyes or closed ears then maybe you'll learn on your own over a period yeah thank you for that yeah okay uh in your last question yeah sir sir i have completed my article ship To, I have entered the article ship to the direct entry scheme, and I I have also completed my MBA in two thousand twenty twenty one. So, which course would be help to me? 
either Excellent. fund so accounting. So you're done with articles, and then uh, what are you doing now? After the completion of my articles, I went to uh, I done with my MBA. Acha. So we got have... articles and MBA. CIPCC, yes, you are not able to clear. Uh, actually, I was trying, but but take okay, as of now, it's not clear. It's not clear. Okay, got it. Then both, please. Uh, because uh, kind of an, as an MBA fresher, largely you have to apply for the job. So both. So in investment banking, what is more relevant to you is obviously the secondary market, primary market, equity research and all. Uh, from the fund accounting, by default, as I said, uh, MBAs and graduations, more recruitment is going to come over a period because uh, last two years, they are mostly focusing on CAs and, you know, CA inters and CMAs. Now they came to that stage. Uh, the bulk recruitment you will see for MBAs, graduations over a period. Uh, so, so whether the article ship will help me certainly yes. certainly yes because it's a practical experience of how to prepare the accounts and all obviously it will help yeah. okay okay what was the duration of the course? that's what so roughly two months may you can complete both otherwise three months uh, investment banking roughly two months and uh, fund accounting one month so within three months or two months you can complete all okay sir. thank you okay chalo guys i think largely yeah go ahead rahul quickly here uh, sir, after starting the classes, from when will the interviews will be started? See, there's no rule as such. Uh, earliest, it can be even in the first week. Uh, when it happens is, uh, if you already have some background, if the recruitment is going on, we'll help you quickly on, you know, what are the questions they will ask in the interview, how to crack that interview. We'll give you a special session in the sense uh, for the preparedness. That is the earliest possible. Otherwise, oh. generally, let's say course is done today. From there, one to two months is the more active. Uh, so you will be done by mock interviews by then and you prepared the resume by then and uh, technically you are prepared. Uh, that is the ideal time. Uh, so our uh, from our side, one or the other way, for example, helping you on which companies are uh, recruitment is going on, where you have to apply, that guidance normally in the class itself we'll discuss. The extreme is uh, you, you are trying your best to you know where you are getting the call. That's when we have to directly either send to the uh, hiring managers or, uh, you know, uh, HR. That's where personally are, we'll give you right contacts, right? For example, our student is in this XYZ team of ABCD company. <coughs> Speak to that guy, he'll refer to you. So that way, personally referring you, that's in case if you're not getting. Uh, but of course, being a CEO, obviously there are enough opportunities. You will not reach to that. So assume within one, one, one and a half month from the course completion, largely. Okay, thanks. Okay. Um, Sir, so last question. One more question. Last question. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for uh, fund, fund accounting and uh, investment banking, uh, do we have any weekend batch together? I'm saying. No, no, no. Together we don't have. Logic also I said uh, because. Uh, it will go almost six months. It will become short term. Executive MBA, we are planning one year in the weekend. So it will be too much to you than considering a six months. So short answer, uh, if you're planning both uh, weekend uh, fund accounting, weekday investment banking is the right combination. Professional, sir, it's not possible for me to join a weekdays uh, classes. No, no, I got your point. What is your work hours? My work hours is, uh, I mean, regular hours are in morning, uh, nine to evening, six. Right. So we have six to nine, one batch and morning six to nine. Sometimes we have batch. Don't you think one of them you can plan? I mean, uh, working hours, we cannot say nine to six is exactly right. May stretch sometimes. See, may stretch uh, sometimes is an exception, right? So what I'm saying is out of two months, let's say uh, certain topics are very important to you. At least plan the work to not to miss some topics. Maybe you have some idea to uh, comparatively less complex topics. Then maybe if you miss one or half an hour, you're not going to miss much, right? Take the notes. What we do is one side, we'll give the notes, which somebody will give you. Second, sometimes if it is important topic you're missing, we'll give you recorded videos. Third thing, uh, we'll do the summary also again. Today discussion, tomorrow summary. Once the topic is over, for example, mutual fund topic is over. Again, at the end of the topic, again, somebody will do the summary. So that way, there are many days we'll be keep repeated uh, those points to make sure everybody is catching the point. So that way, if you plan for two months course, even if you miss one or two classes here, some days you log in late or not, easily you can cover up. See, again, that's what I'm saying. I was there in the industry and I can understand all these issues. Uh, everything is planned accordingly where uh, you don't need to have an excuse. Are I am working, maybe difficult, no. Uh, see, unless you create time, uh, then you are not proactive, right? So you can't make uh, some good progress in the career. I hope you got it. Choose one of the weekday batch uh, for fund, uh, investment banking. We can help you wherever you are missing. Hello, sir. Yeah, uh, if we want Excel classes and other optional classes, so what are the timings on weekends? 
see most of the times we keep it 10 to 1 sometimes we move here and there uh, most of the time saturday sunday 10 to 1 okay sir thank you right so anyway sir, we are missing sir. either from the recording perspective or arranging the notes uh, some or the other way we can keep help here. okay sir, sir. Sir, this is Sir, this is Sir, go ahead, please. Sir, I completed my income, sir. Hmm. I think this income is not enough for me. Uh, after listening your classes, sir, uh, uh, CA or uh, accounting, sir, which is better? I, I straight question. See, obviously, more relevant for uh, MCOM or any post grad is also fund accounting. But then, in MCOM, you don't have much coverage about the industry. So, as usual, both please. Uh, there are some topics which are important to you from IV Batch also. Uh, fund accounting is a little more relevant because MCOM students, most of them, whoever is placed recently, mostly they got into private equity fund accounting or mutual fund accounting or hedge fund accounting. Uh, but then some of them got into global markets divisions also. So, short answer, go for both, please. Okay. Chalo, so, lastly, I hope we come. Yeah, go ahead quickly. <laughs> I know. Tanmay. Yeah, Tanmay. Uh, sir, I did my MBA in 2021 uh, in a finance background. Sir, uh, mm. is the fin uh, fund accounting uh, is good career or the... Uh, For MBA, in yes, it is. Yeah. As I said, the industry is growing. They need all kind of qualification people uh, because they have a lot of requirements. So any uh, person, fund accounting has the growth, uh, but then we have to be equipped with that skills. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sir, which will... Uh, <laughs> I said, which will earn more money uh, comparatively, sir? I mean, fund accounting or IP. Yeah. See, it's not that way, right? Whether your skill set is suitable to that company is more important. So, see, short answer, in any career, if you are really good, you can get it. So, uh, but then coming to your point, MBA fresher, anyhow, though it's fund accounting, we are saying uh, from the learning point of view, both you have to learn. Come to the second point, comparatively, more scope is there in fund accounting because it's a new industry, it's growing at faster speed. Uh, so, largely, short answer is fund accounting, but then uh, learn both. Uh, so, both will offer you enough opportunities. Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, chalo guys. Uh, largely, I think we covered. Uh, if any questions, obviously, as I said, these are the uh, points to reach out to us. Uh, we'll be staying in touch. Uh, many channels are. I'll give you office numbers once you message to these things. Uh, they'll guide you uh, whatever topics or uh, you know questions you may have. Uh, from my side, I can say two, three points. I can quick summary. One, flexibility is pretty much there in the sense if you're a working professional, uh, you have a lot of work or whatever background you are. Uh, if you are missing some class again, allowing into the next batch or you want to move, uh, stop the class in this batch and attending the next batch, all these flexibilities will be given. Uh, we can understand your problems uh, regarding our times, providing all these things are there. So if you have any intention to start career in this industry or you are already in this industry, you want to upgrade to next level, uh, please make sure uh, you plan for either both batches or at least uh, fund accounting. Uh, as I said, uh, fund accounting, we have weekend batch, weekday batch both, and investment banking only a day batch. And uh, flexibility is anyhow is given. Second, never underestimate. As I repeatedly say, I was there in the industry and every day we take the feedback. The point is, job-related training only they can give you. Even if you are in the industry, don't assume I know that. Maybe you know 80% for that matter. Even that 20% additional what you are learning now can change big things. Right. Anytime the person who got the promotion, the person who got rejected, maybe there is a 2% difference, not 80% difference. Right. So you that extra edge is more important in the life. You know, little extra than your colleague who are already working, then you can be into the promotion list rather than drop. So one year before you are getting the promotion, then your incremental learning, incremental earning, everything will change. So that way, uh, not only for the people who don't have the job, these courses are important for the people who are already there. For that matter, as I said, we do have students, even 10, 15, uh, almost uh, 18 years experienced people also there in the classes uh, who are already VPs kind of thing. The reason is they realize the importance, right? Uh, it's not that they don't know. Maybe they know 70% of the syllabus. Uh, even that incremental learning helps them, right? So, and third, don't look at it as if it is just, I don't have a job, that's why I have to know. Once you have the skills, once you have, know the game, in a sense, what companies are uh, recruiting, how to get the job there. There are so many students. You don't need to learn only from me. 
Uh, there are earlier batch students uh, who will be in touch with you in some of the optional classes. Uh, there are people who are already working in the industry attending the classes. So there are many opportunities for you to learn and understand what is this industry, which companies are offer, offering what kind of roles. If you are earning some X amount, if you want to earn at least 50% additional, many doors will open. Uh, so use that opportunity to upgrade yourself. Don't look at just job oriented. I have the job or, uh, you know, once I get the job, I'll stop learning. No, look at the long term. Uh, this is one of the best industry, many parameters, as I said, from the salaries, from the global opportunities perspective, many aspects. This is one of the best industry, if not the best industry. Uh, so for the long term, you need all these skills, right? One side skills, one side guidance in the sense, uh, as I said, many things, right? Understanding the teams, understanding the job descriptions, understanding which, how to negotiate the salary, uh, understanding how to make sure any problem in the company to resolve, in a sense, how to approach the manager. Many ways will be keep helping you. Either personally I can help or my team can help or we'll connect you to the right person. Maybe a student five, uh, three, four years experienced already there in that uh, company, we can connect you or he's the right person. So that way that guidance and help will continue. It's not just three months, six months. So make sure uh, you're taking all this help. Uh, any questions will be approachable, right? Uh, stay in touch with all this, uh, whatever numbers I have given. Or even if you want to follow still uh, Instagram, also CM as ready, or Facebook also same. Uh, YouTube also same, right? Uh, so stay in touch. Uh, happy to help whatever max we can, right? Thank you so much for your time and patience listening. Uh, get in touch. I mean, continue to stay in touch. Thank you so much. All right? Have a good day. Bye bye. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you.